Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee. And today I will be showing you what to do if you find that your EPUB book is exporting some of the items with white backgrounds instead of transparent backgrounds, especially when you have put a PNG or an item that has strokes on it. Many of our clients have a print book and an EPUB version of their book that they are publishing. So it is important that that EPUB come across looking just as good or as close to possible as the print book. We want it to look professional. So if we have big white boxes on the background of our children's book, it doesn't necessarily look as good as the print book. We want it to look nice. If some of you are confused, let me give you an example of what's going on. I'm going to draw a rectangle on this page. And then I'm going to add a stroke to it by drawing on top of it. I'm going to draw a nice twisty stroke on top. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and add a black stroke to this. Let's make it bigger and we're going to get rid of the fill on it. Just for fun, let's add an arrow to the end. I'm going to navigate over here to my stroke effects. And let's add a barbed point to it, sure. Okay, we can see our funny little fish hook shaped arrow here. Now when I go to export this file as an EPUB, a flattened EPUB, I'm going to export it here as a fixed layout EPUB. This is not a problem with reflowable EPUBs that I'm aware of, uh, but for fixed layout ones, it can become problematic. I'm going to hit save, and I'm going to leave all the settings as default. We will still be able to replicate the issue. I'm going to hit OK. And you can see that there is now this wonderful white box behind our stroke. This is not what we want. We want that to be transparent. We do not want this to be turned into a rasterized JPEG on top. We'd rather have it be a PNG. So let me show you how we fix this problem. I'm going to close Kindle Previewer 3. So this comes down to something called object export settings. This is something that is applied to each individual instance of an object when it gets exported to an ebook. To find them, you right click on the object and you are going to scroll down to the object export options as seen here. So the part we're interested in is this tab under the EPUB and HTML. We want to preserve the appearance from the layout, not as default, but we're going to rasterize the container. I have gone through these other options, but this is the one that I find does best. So I'm going to rasterize the container, and I don't want it to be a JPEG. That will ensure that there is a white box behind it. With your first instinct, you would think that you would want to choose PNG. PNGs have transparency, right? Well, I still tend to experience the same issue by choosing PNG, but the safest one, which always works for me, is GIF. I'm going to select GIF. And I'm just going to leave the resolution and the palette and everything else as is. Let's hit done. And now when we go to export this file as an EPUB, the solution will now be met. We're going to overwrite what we already had. And just for reference, this only works in my method if I have the cover set to none. If it's rasterizing the first page, then it's just going to turn the whole thing into an image anyway. I want this to be a live, uh, live page, so I'm choosing none here. Let's hit OK. And when Candle Previewer 3 opens up, we should see a completed object export without any white background. Yes, there we are. Now it looks exactly the same as the version on my screen. Okay guys, thank you very much. I hope this helped. Um, if this worked for you, let us know in the comments below. Go ahead and like and subscribe too, it really helps us out. All right guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.